Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my birthday! I feel like I've mentioned my birthday in the last two videos and also I have my birthday party vlog DIY video coming shortly but today is my actual real life birthday. I am 28 today and I just got a flower delivery so I thought we could open it together. It is from my management, Shine. They sent like a very cute little note. It says, wishing you the most special day and a wonderful year ahead filled with lots of love, laughter, and success. From Jordan, Jess, M, and Team Shine. Which is so, so cute. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So fall. I love them, they're so nice. Yeah, so pretty, thank you. <laughs> so yes, today is my birthday. Cody and I are kind of rushing out of the house to get to a brunch spot because we always eat really late. I had like a meeting this morning and stuff. And so we're going to the breakfast table on Granville because they have gluten-free waffles with their eggs bunny. It's really good. And then I want to go around and get my like free birthday things at like Starbucks and Cartem's. I have to see Brittany at some point today to pick some stuff up and very exciting. Buick has loaned me a vehicle for the week. So I'm gonna explain and talk about that but we are gonna go hop in our sporty little SUV for the day and Code hasn't like been in it for a proper drive yet. I drove it all yesterday and I'm obsessed. It's so nice. It has that new car smell. I think it only has like 700 kilometers on it or something crazy. It's like brand spanking new and it is so, so luxe. So we're gonna hop in the car, go get birthday brunch. and we discovered, not surprised at all, we discovered that the seats have butt warmers and what a treat that is. It's so nice. We just went to Cartem's to get my free birthday donut. Cody got one too. It's kind of messy, but I got the chocolate glazed. Is it chocolate glazed? Yeah, glazed. They are so delicious and all you have to do on your birthday is show them your ID, which the gals in there were so kind and complimented my ID picture, which was so lovely. All of the clips for today are going to be in the car or at home because it is absolutely pouring raining out. Did you want to adjust that? That's where you're going to go. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> we just went into Starbucks. I got a venti. I never order a venti of anything. I'm going to cherish this. Cherish, cherish this. <laughs> I got to your first a pumpkin chai because I figured that would be more reasonable for this size at this time really? of day. You have to be nice to me. It's my <laughs> birthday. <laughs> what do you want to say? It because it's like less caffeine. Is that why? Mm-hmm. You're just thinking about the sugar, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was like, I feel like <laughs> What'd you get? Pumpkin cold brew. Cream cold brew. And who do you have to thank for that? Uh, Starbucks. Good job. You're welcome. giving us the orange card. Slay. Funny story. We just went into Sally Beauty Supply because Brittany got me a nail light and some tools and stuff so I can start doing my nails at home because I'm spending so much money getting my nails done every single month. I'm very capable of doing my own nails. I used to do them all the time. And Code's really excited about that because he's like, you know what? I want you to do my nails. I'm like, okay. Um, and so we went into Sally's Beauty Supply, which I have not walked into one of those stores in, um, probably a decade like it's been a very very long time i have a couple colors coming from amazon today but i saw these two and i thought these colors were very me so very excited to try that got a little nail file and i got some pointed q-tips because these are the best for cleaning up eyeliner and the gal at the checkout which is funny because she said she was like taking over from a different store so she doesn't normally work at this location mm. and she was like this is gonna sound weird if it's not true but did you used to make youtube videos or do you still make youtube videos and i was like i sure do sure do and she's like i stopped watching youtube but i like probably watched your videos pre-covid and stuff and i just thought that was so funny i was like wow that made my day it's my birthday and that's so sweet so yeah we had a nice little chat and so cute when people i don't know say something like that it's always so sweet also too we're playing around with the radio in this car and there's a disney channel and it has been so much fun to listen to because we guess the artist or the movie it's from every single time and um cody surprised me he knew the phineas and ferb song that was just playing so there's that we are home now and i decided that what i actually wanted for my birthday was my favorite salad from field and social because i've been having so much heavy food lately and so this salad was perfect and i even got 
an extra dressing because this dressing is so good. It's like the coconut chicken salad. Seriously, the best ever. Oh, actually, is there new episodes of the Kardashians? Because if there is, I want to watch that. Anyway, obviously we're home now. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna do my toes with the new gel system to try it out. I'm not going to film that. <laughs> and I kind of just want to chill. I started Wildfire last night, which I'm like 50 pages in and it's really good so far. So I kind of want to read and just take it easy because I have a busy couple of days tomorrow and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, honestly. So I'm gonna take tonight to chill and decompress and just hang out, eat our salads, drink some water, do some nice things for myself. And then we will see you tomorrow. Yay, 28, can't believe it. Can't believe I have two more years left until I'm 30. I feel like everyone around me is like 30 or older, but um, yeah, I kind of can't believe how fast life is going. Can't believe that four years ago was my 24th birthday at the hotel. I feel like that feels like last year. Hello friends, welcome to the next day. I am like kind of like not sure how I feel about the side part that I've had going on in this video. It kind of just like happened the last time I showered and we're kind of rolling with it. I don't hate it, but it definitely feels like old me, you know? Anyway, I just got finished filming a bunch of Sephora sale recommendations for TikTok. I always struggle with the best way to give out this information, whether it be Instagram stories, TikToks, a whole video. I just never know. I feel like there's so much content that can surround the Sephora sale and I never know what you guys find the most useful. And so I went with the TikToks this time. So if you want to go check those out, I did it in three parts. I did like foundation or sorry, face and then eyes and lips and then hair care and skincare in three separate TikToks. So I'll link those down below if you want to go check them out. And I figured in this vlog because the Sephora sale actually starts I think on Friday and what I typically do is fill my cart ahead of time and film like a little bit of a shop with me and then come Thursday night at 9 p.m. my time, midnight, Eastern Standard Time, I can submit my order. And so that's possibly my plan. I think I'll probably do a little bit of a shop with me so I can show you guys what I'm getting or thinking of getting for the sale. Also too, I just wanna say that I received the most amount of love yesterday for my birthday. Seriously, all of the comments on the reel I posted were so sweet and all of the messages and DMs and just everything. I felt so, so, so loved yesterday and I just wanna thank you. If you sent a personal message, that means the world to me. I honestly had the best birthday. It was such a chill day and last night I did my toes like I mentioned it turned out really good the color was a little bit lighter than I thought it would be but it worked really well so I'm very excited to kind of learn a new process for doing my nails the aftermath of filming a PR unboxing I had so many packages to unbox and share on stories I finally did it and now we have a mountain of recycling to get rid of in one of the PR packages from Estee Lauder there was a blender I know Crazy, right? It's like a personal blender. So I just used it to do a little protein shake because I'm starving and we have to go outside soon before the sun sets to get some footage of the car. I blended together the cookies and cream good protein. I will have a link with my code down below if you want to save some money. It's my favorite protein because it's gluten free and dairy free. I blended that with like some protein milk and a couple ice cubes and it's really good. You just like pop off the bottom. It's like a little press blender thing and then you can take it on the go and it has like a little sippy lid. So. Pretty cool. Also, this flavor is really nice. Okay, now let me tell you a little bit about the car that we are driving for the week. This is the Buick Encore GX 2024. a brand new car it is so sleek on the outside it's very sporty but compact but also the inside feels really spacious the seats and the interior are so luxe I drive really close to the steering wheel and I feel really like 
compact and cozy in this vehicle. I really like the way it drives too. It's very peppy, but also I feel really safe in it. This huge 11 inch diagonal screen is amazing too. I cannot believe all the features. When you go from driving a car that has basically no features to a car that has all the features, it's such a stark change. It has an iPhone wireless charging spot underneath and then it automatically connects in and does carplay so i can see all of my phone calls my messages and also play from my own spotify and everything but the built-in sirius xm integration that already comes with the car is so good for music as i mentioned yesterday we listened to like the disney channel and we just put on the regular sirius xm and i loved all the songs that it played it was everything i could ever want it was so good and i feel like that's such a treat to have that already incorporated into the car it makes drives go by so much faster this car also also comes with the Buick driver confidence package which is a bunch of different safety features that honestly I didn't even know existed it has automatic emergency braking and front pedestrian braking so if someone's running out in front of your car it'll sense it and like brake if you're about to hit someone it has forward collision alert the lane keep assistance is really cool and something I'm not used to it's like the little blinkers on the side mirrors that lets you know someone's in your blind spot which is so so cool and also the backup cam I feel like that is such a treat in itself and it's so cool there's like a 360 camera i don't know how this technology works but you can see the car on the camera as like a bird's eye view as well as the behind camera and i think it has a front camera too it's crazy there's cameras everywhere i don't even know if i mentioned there's a huge ass sunroof too it has like it opens up completely it's so big that's what she said Anyway, all this to say, this car is decked the F out. It is so, so fun to drive. I've been really enjoying it. I do not want to give it back in a week. I know that I'm going to be really sad when I have to give it back because it's just been so nice and luxurious to drive. I've really enjoyed it. Also too, I feel like I'm really particular with the cars I like to drive and I could definitely see myself wanting something like this in the future. So there's that. The street lights came on and that means it's time for us to go home. <laughs> Good morning and happy 1989 release day, Taylor's version to all of you that celebrate. I'm very excited. I like have such a kinship with 1989. I like so distinctly remember it came out, I'm pretty sure when Cody and I first started dating, which is really funny. So a lot of the songs remind me of like late night rainy drives in the fall with him. So I'm very excited to see how I feel when I listen to it tonight after nine o'clock when it's released. Also, I realized that I'm gonna have the car when it gets released, so I might just take a really long drive home from dance tonight and listen to the full album, or at least listen to the vault tracks because I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. I just took some time right now to clean off this counter space, dresser space, whatever it is, and I put out a poll on my Instagram to see what type of Sephora sale content you guys wanted to see. I asked if you guys wanted to see like a get ready with me using my favorite products or if you wanted the shop with me that I already kind of explained to you guys. And it looks like more votes are for the shop with me so I'm gonna get myself ready and then we will sit down and do some shopping. Before we get into the Sephora sale of it all, I wanted to make myself a little bit of lunch. I did a taste test last week on my TikTok of the new President's Choice Noki and I know I pronounce it wrong, everyone. All of the comments are just coming at me on how I incorrectly pronounced gnocchi. I think it's gnocchi, but I just like gnocchi better. And they were making fun of me and TikTok is a wild place for that, but it's okay. Today I wanted to try the cauliflower gnocchi and this has like a pomodoro sauce and it's really good. This one too is also certified gluten-free and the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi doesn't come with a sauce. So this is so nice. It's really, really good. Very pillowy, good texture. Honestly, I'm just so happy President's Choice makes this kind of stuff now. I was gonna try the risotto today, but I didn't really wanna have a bunch of cheese, so this was a nice option. We're gonna try the Kimade from Milani New. I haven't tried this flavor yet. I feel like that flavor is really hard to describe. It almost has like an iced tea taste to it. It's very sweet and like a hint of lemon, if that makes any sense. Alrighty, I have my laptop here ready to go. As mentioned, the sale, when you see this, Rouge has already started and then VIB starts on Tuesday, starts on Halloween, and then Insider starts also on Halloween. So 
that's coming up real quick. I do actually have a lot of things already in my cart and I feel like maybe we should start there. Typically go pretty crazy during the sale. I usually don't buy Sephora stuff a ton until the sale. And so I'm trying to like remember all of the categories of things and like restocks I wanna do and obviously get a couple like fun things as well. So in my cart, I currently have the Patrick Ta Major Skin Cream Foundation. This is $70. I have heard good things, but I feel like I haven't heard enough good things for me to warrant spending $70 on it and foundation is obviously going to be one of the pricier things I love trying out new foundations and discovering new favorites the three that I mentioned in my TikTok were the makeup by Mario uh, foundation as well as the Charlotte Tilbury flawless and then also the Shiseido which is an underdog one all amazing and those are like the three I cycle through also too when I find a foundation I really like I usually get multiple shades in it and so all that to say, I don't think I'm going to get the Patrick Ta. I'm gonna move that to my loves. Also in my cart right now, I have a couple of like darker lipsticks, mainly because show season is coming up and it's gonna be like a darker look and I don't really have any like dark liquid lips at the moment, but again, not fully sure, so I'm gonna move those to loves. I definitely wanna pick up a new dry shampoo from the sale, this Living Proof one is really great because it always comes in like a holiday set and it's a really good value. I'm pretty sure I got this last year and I really like it, but I also really like the Kerastase one. It's just, this is $54. And let's see how much the Kerastase one is. The small one is $32. The big one is 55. Okay, so that's actually, I mean, you get two in the other one, so. I'm gonna put it in my cart and then I will decide at a later time which one I wanna go with. The next thing I have in here is the Tatcha Tatcha? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. This is a lip mask. I'm almost out of my belief one and I still miss the Bite Beauty lip mask. It was by far the best thing ever. And so I've heard good things about this. It has good reviews. I'm going to give it a go for the winter. If you're watching this and you have any lip mask recommendations, let me know. Next to my cart, I have the NARS Light Reflecting Advanced Skincare Foundation. I've heard really good things. I have loved all of the NARS foundations that I've tried before. So I am really considering trying this one out. I think I would really like it. And like I said, I've just heard really good things. So yeah. I don't know. Next in my cart, I have the Huda Booty, Booty? Huda Booty? Why is that so hard to say? Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. That's what's in my cart next. And I am running low on my Laura Mercier one, but I do have a backup. And I also received the e.l.f. one recently, and that's what I wore today. I really like it. Really don't need to spend $52 on a powder right now. So I'm gonna move that to loved. Next in here is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I love this stuff and I see that pink sugar is finally back in stock crossing my fingers It's available when it comes time for me to check out because I would prefer to try that shade I do also know that they have a holiday set Which looks really cute and so many I tend to lose the one I already have in multiple different spots because I always switch it with my bags It's like my go-to purse lip balm. So I worry about the little ones although I do think it would be nice to kind of try out some other colors. For $33, I feel like that's not too bad. Also, that would be such a cute little like inclusion gift if you're doing gifts for multiple friends or something, having like a little summer Fridays, that would be so cute. I currently have vanilla beige in my cart, but I just added pink sugar, so I'm actually going to move this shade to Loves and then we will see when the time comes. Following that, something I have been wanting to try for a really long time is from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Color Correcting Cream. I have seen the magic of this product and I feel like I don't have too bad of redness but I do have some. I would love to try out this product on like fresh skin but also on like no makeup days so I think I'm gonna keep that one in my cart just because I'm so curious and I really really want to try it out. I'm going to be repurchasing an Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I have two right now. I just checked my shades. I want to make sure I get cotton which is what's in my cart. This is the best concealer ever. I love it so much and I've been really sad without it. I'm like scraping the barrel of the two I have and the other color I have is birch, which is a little bit lighter, but cotton is usually my like go-to shade. Okay, I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation in here. I have it in the four neutral because that's what I currently have and I think I'm running low on it. It's one of those things that I'm like, do I try a new foundation or do I just repurchase? It is so good. It's such a tried and true 
foundation for me but I do really want to try a new one and I've been kind of eyeing like I said the NARS one but I've also been eyeing this uh, YSL all hours. I've heard that this is a good like wedding foundation which to me means it's like a really good stage foundation and also just like long wear for events and things like that and parties and different things kind of surrounding that and I'm just so curious about it although $81 is a hefty price tag for a foundation, so. I do have a pair of lashes in here. I love House of Lashes lashes. I've used this pair in particular before. It is one of those things that I have so many lashes in my back stock that I probably shouldn't purchase it because I'm trying to be good, but if I were to buy lashes, these are the ones I would buy. I currently have two leave-in conditioners in my cart. One is from Day. I have not tried any of their hair products before. I'm super curious. I've heard really great things and their packaging is really cute. This one retails for $38 for 150 milliliters. And then I have another one in my cart from Gizu. I think that's how you pronounce it. And again, this one is super cute as well. And I've never tried any Gizu products. This one is the honey infused leave-in conditioner and this is $46 for 150 milliliters. If you have tried either of these brands, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm still not sure which one I'll do. I'm thinking maybe the day one just because it's cheaper and you get the same amount of product. But if I get comments saying that the Gizu one is worth it, then perhaps I will go with that one. And then at the bottom of my card, I just have an Amica point perk picked out and then my birthday gift from Patrick Ta. So that is kind of a glance into my cart. I would normally be restocking my Bondi Boost, but I have a lot of other back stock of shampoos and conditioners and hair growth isn't like my main focus right now. So I don't feel the need to repurchase those right away. The scalp scrub I think is sold out. Otherwise I would be repurchasing that. I completely forgot to mention in my TikTok recommendations, the Shark Flex style being on Sephora now. So it'll be a part of the sale, which is so great. I love that hair tool. I actually got mine last year at Canadian Tire. I do have a full video from last year using it. I will link that down below if it's something that's been on your mind and you wanna learn a little bit more and how I like it. I think it's definitely worth money. It's like half the price of the Dyson and I've used it quite a bit over the past year. So if that's something you're into, that would be a great thing to pick up during the sale. I'm trying to be a little bit more reasonable with my choices this year because I really don't need a lot. You guys see all the PR I get, it's ridiculous. And so I'm really trying to focus on the things that I wanna replace or products that I love or a couple new products like the foundations that I wanna try. So let me know in a comment down below what products you're planning on picking up during the sale. If you've tried any of these products that I mentioned that I haven't tried out before, please let me know your thoughts. I would be so helpful. And I do plan on filming a whole haul video of all the things I do actually pick up. Hello friends. It is about 1024. I am filming on my phone because I just got out of dance class and I cannot wait any longer. I really want to listen to some songs from 1989 because it dropped at nine but I was in class and I have so much to do tonight so I'm going to let myself listen to like one or two songs and then we're going to go home and do all the stuff but let's listen. I want to start with the vault track. I should probably listen in order but I want to start with the one that's called slide because I'm so curious. Okay here we go. Cute. Okay going to the next one. Say don't go. No no no. Giving midnights a little bit. Okay, I think we're gonna leave it there because I gotta get home, but I'm so glad we got to share that moment together. I'm so excited to listen to the rest of the album. If you've listened to the album and you have a favorite song, let me know in the comments down below. Would love to hear what your thoughts are on 1989. Taylor's version. And with that, my good people, I'm going to leave you. This is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. Huge thank you to Buick and GM for letting me drive this beautiful car this week. It's been such a treat. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.